Hi, my name is David and you're watching the Polygod Engineer channel. And I wanted to make a quick video today to talk about monkey patching, what it is, why you might want to use it, and how you do it and how to prevent it if you don't want somebody doing it to one of your objects. So what it comes down to it, all monkey patching is, is you're swapping out the functionality of one function for another function. And this is actually very common in some other languages, like if you've used Objective-C or you use Swift as an example, both of those languages have something called method swizzling, where you can swap out the functionality, uh, original function for another function. And so let's take a quick look and see what this actually looks like inside of JavaScript. So we see right here, I have this class here called simple math object, and it just has one function in it uh, that just adds two parameters together and returns back the results. So if I come down here and I run this, we can see that it returns a result of three. So if we actually want to patch this, uh, let's say we want to add some functionality where we log what's happening inside the function while it's running, we can do it kind of like this. So let's come over here and let's create a original copy of that function. So what I want to do is I want to say original add is equal to math object dot add. Now we have a copy of the original uh, add function from our object. And now what I can do is I can actually come to that math object and come in here and I'm just going to assign a new function to it. So I'm going to pass in two parameters just like before. And to get the result back, what I can do is I can just say original add and pass in those parameters in there, and that's returned out, but I want to add some logging in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say console.log, and let's say I just want to make a copy of those parameters. And we'll say All right. Now what I can do is I can actually go and call this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new result. And we're going to make that equal to method.add. And we'll pass in 1 and 2. And just to save a little time here, I'm going to copy this uh, console log out here. Paste that in and change that to result 2. Now, if I come over here into the, uh, the terminal, run this again, now we can see we get our new result back, but we've also logged this statement out. And so this is essentially how you need to be able to, if you need to be able to patch this, you can do this. If you need to assign the original functionality back, all you'd have to do is come here and say method.object.add or dot .add and make that equal to the original ad, and that will return it back to its original state. But let's say you want to prevent somebody from being able to do this. How would you do that in JavaScript? Well, this is one of the inherent prob problems with using the uh, either the uh, uh, object prototype or the, the class keyword inside of uh, JavaScript. It uh, doesn't prevent you from having this type of manipulation. And so I like to use uh, factory functions, and I'll show you why. So right here, I have this uh, create math object function. And I don't have to use the new keyword. All I have to do is call create math object, and that creates a new version of this object. And then you can see right here, I'm doing the same thing as I was doing before. I'm adding these two numbers together to get a result. If I go here and run this, we can see I get a result. So let's try to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to try to come in here and get a reference to the original object. And once I've done that, it has this logging statement in here. And let's just go and try to run this and see what happens. So I'm going to save this file. And I get an error. And it says right here, can I assign the read only property add to object? And the reason why is because if we look right up here, we can see here that when I return this new object, 
I'm using object that freeze, which makes it a read-only object. So I hope this gives you some idea of what monkey patching is, how you might use it, whether or not you want to use it, and how you can prevent people from using it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you can give it a thumbs down, but please give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel. Uh, the more people that subscribe to the channel, that helps the algorithm, helps promote the videos. And let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. Have a nice day.